and welcome to another edition of Gamazon Toku Facts. A few months ago, Shin Ultraman came out, and seeing as it's from the same team that did Shin Godzilla, I figured I'd talk about the time that Ultraman fought Godzilla. Admittedly, I should have done this a couple months ago when that actually came out, but I kind of lost track of when Shin Ultraman was actually getting released, and when it did, I already had another Togufax video ready to go. So just pretend that this came out when that did. Okay? Enjoy the video. After the usually abundant fish population of Lake Kitagawa mysteriously thin out, Triple SP is called in to investigate. When they can't find anything strange, Captain Muramatsu figures that since they're already there, his men may as well take a bit of a vacation. At the same time, a reporter and her photographer from a boys magazine visit the home of the reclusive monster professor, Nakamura, to ask him about the recent sightings of Nessie in Scotland. Mentioning the now-missing scientist, Dr. Nikaido, who was presumed to have been killed by Nessie. Nakamura begins to rant about dinosaurs, and after disposing of the photographer's attempt to secretly take a photo of the recluse, he kicks the pair out. At the hotel, the Triple SP agents and the reporters meet up, and Ide and the lady go out for a night walk. While out, they spot a disturbance in the lake and go to investigate, finding a cave that, as it turns out, leads to Nakamura's lab, and the mad doctor takes them captive. As the other Triple SP members search for Ide and the reporter, a pair of fishermen in the middle of the lake drop poison in the water to kill some fish, since they weren't able to catch anything from shore earlier. However, this stirs the monster sleeping in the lake, and Nakamura's creation, Jiras, emerges ready to rampage. While Nakamura goes to try and calm Jiras down, Ide manages to repair his communicator and informs his allies of their location. Muramatsu and Fuji join up with Hayata and Arashi to confront Nakamura, wondering why the man couldn't be as respectful as the late Nikaido, only for Nakamura to reveal that he is Nikaido, and the mad scientist rushes to his creation, only to be crushed underfoot. Realizing the danger, Hayata steps away to transform into Ultraman to battle the mutated dinosaur. As the fight rages, Ultraman manages to tear the frill off of the kaiju's neck and ultimately kills the poor creature. But instead of destroying the monster, Ultraman instead takes pity and drapes the creature's frill over its body and departs, leaving the dinosaur to rest in peace. You may have noticed, especially once the frill got torn off, that Jiris looks suspiciously like Godzilla. That's because the costume was made by combining parts from two separate Godzilla costumes and then adding, well, the frill. Might be part of the reason why Jiris hasn't shown up in much of anything lately. Sevenger fight aside, apparently. I haven't actually watched it myself. But I can see you out there calling shenanigans because this video is called Ultraman vs. Godzilla and doesn't have a sorta or a kinda attached to the title. Yet Jiris is technically not Godzilla. Okay, fine. You got me. So, I guess now I gotta talk about the time that Ultraman fought Godzilla for real. On the Kenji Sawada show, Godzilla and Ultraman duked it out in the city, as Sendayu Dokumamushi, dressed as his character Arashi from the original Ultraman, commentates on the action, until the two agreed to a game of shogi. I never said it had to be canon to count. Until next time, I'm Protomet. See ya.